So I am on day three of my Mary's Mini and so far I've lost five pounds. I have a lot of energy. I'm feeling really good. Um, it's super easy. <laughs> I'm feeling super full. I'm eating as much as I want to and I'm not mindlessly snacking on things, which was the issue before. Um, and I just feel really, really good on this diet. So I've been having simple things like rice. I put it in a pressure cooker. That way I have it already done um, and it's ready to go. It's in the fridge, just like I did with the potatoes pre-cooking and having stuff ready um, will help you a lot because then you're not waiting to cook things at every meal. Um, that's how you're gonna start eating other things that are not on the Mary's mini plan. So that's super simple. And then having a whole bunch of vegetables that are frozen that you can cook up really quickly is just super easy. So I have organic cinnamon here. I have pure vanilla extract. I'm not sure if we're allowed to use um, something like this on the Mary's Mini, but I guess it would go into like the condiments uh, category, I guess. I'm just gonna add a little bit this time into my pudding just to see if it makes a difference in flavor. Got my rice, my filtered water. I'm gonna use um, my other pressure cooker. Thank goodness I have two. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make some rice pudding. Two cups of the rice. I like my rice really porridgey, so that's why I'm adding so much water. I have eight cups of water, two cups of rice, and then I am just eyeballing this, but I'm gonna say two um, tablespoons of organic cinnamon. And then a little bit of the vanilla extract. Just a few drops. It's kind of hard to combine the cinnamon but it will do its thing once it heats up. Valve is closed. This is my big pressure cooker. Um, and then I'm just gonna do porridge setting, but I need less time because I don't want it to cook for that much time. So I'm actually gonna do maybe eight minutes. That's it. That's all it needs um, just to soften up. I'm only putting eight minutes because I'm gonna let it release on its own so it will continue to cook. If I was going to release the valve myself, then I would add at least 10 minutes or possibly even 12 minutes. Um, but I'm just gonna let it do its thing. It's gonna cook, it's gonna stay sealed and release naturally so it will cook a bit longer in the pot. So here is my super simple breakfast. It's just the rice pudding. I add a little bit more cinnamon on top. If I need to, I will drizzle a tiny little bit of pure maple syrup into it and mix it up but if i can eat it with just cinnamon then i'm gonna just do that I just have my water i'm gonna take my vitamins and enjoy my yummy yummy rice pudding so i have a big bag of green beans and they are frozen we just got them from costco so if you can find it at your Costco, I find that this is a lifesaver because I can make a big pot of these and we can eat it for like two meals and we're good. We eat, you know, whatever our starch is and then our green beans and that keeps us feeling really full and it's just super tasty. I'm really, really into green beans these days. So we're having a lot of this. As you can see, the bag is almost done. Um, we'll have to pick up some more, but this is definitely a lifesaver. And we also have a mixed veggie stir fry, a big bag that we get at Costco as well. And that's also very helpful to have on hand. bit of broth 
in the bottom of my frying pan. And then I'm just gonna cover up the beans and it's only gonna take a couple minutes and it will be nice and cooked. And I'm not really adding anything else. I just have the broth as a seasoning and I think it's good enough. Um, if you want to though, you can add a little bit of herb and spice if you need to, um, it's really up to you. I don't like to cook my green beans too long, so I literally just keep it closed for a couple minutes and then it's done. I still like that crunch to my green beans and it's that simple. You just add that to your starch of choice and we're good to go. So simple green beans just made with a tiny bit of broth and I'm just having some dandy blend. It's a coffee alternative instead of having a cup of coffee. So here's my big jug of water. Um, it is a three liter jug. It is huge. I found it at Marshall's. Um, I had a pink one or like peach before this one. Now I use that one upstairs just to water my plants. And then now I have this red one downstairs. This is my goal for every day, but it doesn't always happen. I just try my best to drink as much as I can from this big jug. Um, and then we also have the water dispenser as well. And I also get water out of there. Here's the water dispenser like you've seen in other videos. I always keep water here um, and then a cup. Um, I have a bunch of funky little cups that I like to keep near the water dispenser to encourage me to drink more water. And yeah, just water everywhere so that it's a reminder to keep hydrated. So I have this broth that I, um, it was like a thickened bouillon, um, kind of like a paste, and then I just put it with water. That way it dilutes and then I have it in a mason jar in the fridge and I just use a tiny bit of that when I'm making my veggies. So I have broccoli and also mixed veg um, leftovers that I have. And then I'm also going to do green beans. I'm not going to add any seasoning, I'm just going to top it and allow it to cook for a couple of minutes and then I'll take it off the heat and it'll be perfect. So there is mushroom, broccoli, green beans, um, there's some carrot, yellow carrot in here, and what else? Oh, and these sugar snaps as well. So that'll just be another minute covered, and then I'll take it off the heat. So I'm also going to make, this is my really big Instapot, um, I'm going to make a whole bunch of rice, that way it's already made, and then I can keep it in the fridge, and that way we have on hand if we are hungry. I just have rice and water in the pressure cooker, and I'm going to use this salt-free garlic and herb um, seasoning that I get from Target when I cross the border, and it's really good and it flavors everything really nicely so I think a little bit of this um, in the rice will be nice. Um, it'll add a little bit of extra flavor to it. Through, 
So I just have it on the rice setting and I'm setting it for 12 minutes. Um, I am going to allow it to release its pressure on its own so it will cook a little bit extra. Um, but if I was going to release the valve myself, then I would add a few extra minutes because the, it won't be ready. I have like three cups of rice in here, so I, I think it might take a few extra minutes if you're releasing the valve. But since I'm not and it's going to sit in here and stay warm for a while, it will be completely cooked and fine. Thank you.